Guys, what's going on? Hope everyone is doing good. It's been a while since I've been live, and mainly the reason is because of my data. I actually did not have a phone plan, a local phone plan. When I was in Tokyo, so I was just cheaping it out, making regular videos and uploading them afterwards, but uh, that's why. And uh, I wanted to make a quick one today, basically, to talk about the month that I just spent in Tokyo. You know, I was there for a month, which I think is a good amount of time, at least enough to kind of reflect back and think of how everything went. And, uh, you know, it's a place I wanted to go to for a long time. So let's uh, dip into it. There's basically, you know, it's I, oftentimes when I talk to people, I tell them there's only two cities that I go to, like abroad, that I just I can't complain. It's hard to complain. And uh, one of those is Amsterdam. And the other one is Tokyo. So things there are so well done. It just puts a smile on my face just thinking about it. In terms of like negatives, you're gonna have to like start nitpicking a bit. Um, but the things that I liked, it's, you know, it's just incredibly clean. And I've been there twice before. I mean, these are things that I already knew. Super clean, the food is great. Um, the people are like, they're, they're so nice and well-mannered, polite, civilized, it, it makes me, almost uncomfortable i'm like man why are they so kind and uh i wouldn't quite say friendly because i think there's a difference between being like polite well-mannered etc versus being you know friendly um but they definitely have that down they're extremely patient i don't speak japanese but they didn't like i didn't feel bad about it like i do in some other places you know they're very understanding and patient so that was awesome um as far as meeting people i was also able to do that i you know the events in tokyo as far as like social life and stuff i think could it could it's not my my favorite but it's it's okay there's a lot of events some of them are a little more commercial than i'd like i went to a couch surfing event and it was it was kind of whack like the host didn't even show up the timing was off the directions weren't clear and it seemed like it was you know hosted by the bar or something like that. I went to uh, another meetup from meetup.com. It was definitely, you know, organized and semi-commercial, which is fine, but that one was much nicer and I met some cool people there, um, people that I hung out with a few times afterwards. So I definitely got the feeling that if I stayed there longer, um, you know, I would have met more and more people. So although I'd say it is more difficult than Tokyo in terms of making and keeping a social circle, it's still doable. Um, other things, uh, small detail on the subway, they're so uh, comfortable. So, um, you know, they have like a little plush cushion on them, which is not the regular um, by international standards. And uh, everything just works there. Everything just works. Like things are so nice. Like I put like the equivalent of a hundred dollar bill into the subway machine. Keep in mind where I normally stay in Bangkok, they don't even accept cash in their subway machines. You know, you have to like go and get change and then go back to the line and wait in line, press the number and stuff like that. I put a hundred dollars in that machine. I told it I only wanted to charge thirty dollars and it gave me back like seventy dollars, you know, seven thousand yen and like crisp clean notes. It gave me like a you know a fifty dollar bill, a ten and a ten, the Japanese equivalent. And I was just like, man, this machine is incredible. Why why don't they have this everywhere? So um as you can tell, it was definitely positive. Uh, I love Tokyo and uh, I'll definitely be back there sometime. It was good seeing some friends. Um, I just got to Seoul today. I flew in, it took all day. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting set up here. I just went out to eat. I, you know, I need to take a shower and all that stuff. But um, I guess the one thing about Tokyo was, uh, so it's hard to describe you know some people they're like wondering why why would you go to seoul instead of tokyo because those were my my two options and when i was in tokyo you know people would ask me like where i'm going and stuff i think i don't want to overstate it but i think basically every what i say just to be frank is i think everything in tokyo is nicer to, to be honest in my opinion except um you know meeting people and making friends so that is the one thing that I, I prefer about Seoul. And, you know, it's only one thing, but I think it's quite an important thing. And, um, you know, I don't want to put any expectations, you know, on Seoul. I think it's typically better if you go to a place and have no expectations. But um, that's more or less how I feel about the two. I still maintain that opinion, although now I think it's even harder because 
I went to Tokyo and I, I, you know, I did make friends and I had a great time. I thought to myself, it would have probably been better if I went straight from somewhere else, anywhere else, and then to Seoul, because it would have, it would have been like, uh, you could say an upgrade or something on the same level. But going from Tokyo to Seoul, it, it, uh, I've only been here a few hours and it feels like, you know, something, I don't want to say a downgrade because that sounds mean, but, you know, something slightly not as uh, top notch. So I thought about that and I was like, if I'd gone to like any other city, you know, it would, it would feel different coming to Seoul. I remember the first time I came to Seoul, like six years ago. I could not believe it. I thought this place was just so organized and clean and orderly because at that time I was living in China and um, I there was a bus. I got in line for a bus here or I was just walking by and people were queuing up in such a line. I couldn't believe it. I had not seen that literally in years after living, you know, in crazy Beijing. So yeah, it's, it's all relative. It just depends, you know, where you're coming from and stuff. And then, so let's see. Okay, the last thing, the last thing I will say, uh, I was I was a little bit happy. I was happy to be in Tokyo. You know, I was just there for a month, and it's something I've uh, always wanted to do, more or less, just spend a good amount of time there. And to me, it just felt nice to be able to finally do that, to be in a position to have the resources and time to make that happen. Because Tokyo is just one of those, like, major international cities that, you know, when you're there, you'll know it and you'll feel it. I think it's just, it's in such a high category of places with like, you know, London, New York, you know, whatever you want to categorize it as. But when you're there, you know, you're like in, in the big city. You're, I feel like it's, it's part of the big leagues, so to speak, if there was such a thing for cities. So that was just awesome. Just, I would just go walking around outside all the time, just um, appreciating and enjoying the city. The architecture, I think is second to none. The build quality there is amazing. God, sometimes I would walk into places and I would almost stop. I'd be like, God, this place is too nice, man. This place is so nice. And it would just be like a regular office building or something. But the lighting, the walls, the scaffold, like it just the way it all was put together, the elevators, the mirrors, it's just incredible. Um, but that's my update for now. Just wanted to push that one out. Actually, I wanted to make it before I left uh, Tokyo, but I was in a big rush this morning um because i insisted on going to the gym this morning i just i really didn't want to miss and I, it's super easy to miss you know on travel days but i was like no i'm gonna go and then i was basically running late the whole time and i i, I don't want to say i almost missed the flight but i think i did i was i was pretty close and i was afraid because i missed the flight like a year or so ago from warsaw to beijing and it killed me because i got to the gate and you know they have basically disconnected the bridge but you could still see people you know going in the plane was still there you could could almost like throw a rock and hit it but uh i anyways it was it was a close call today but i made it and um, i'm here in seoul so yeah now it's time to get started on uh on the soul part on the soul plan on the soul chapter i'm uh really looking forward to it as i said so yeah and also looking forward to updating you guys on how everything goes here tomorrow i'm supposed to go to sogang university to do like a placement test uh, I pretty much know I'm, there's no score on it, but I'm not going to get anything beyond. I'm going to be put in level one. There's no way I'm testing out of any kind of levels. So it's more or less just a formality, at least for me, since I barely know anything. But uh, that's where we're at. That's what's going on tomorrow. And I uh, hope everyone is doing good. Let's talk soon, guys. Take care. See ya. And.